Good morning. Sun is shining. It's Sunday, and I'm hearing some music coming from the community center downstairs. Guys, I've been doing some research, and you know how I go back and forth. Remember, last two weeks ago, I wanted to get the Canon Legria, which is the little cute recorder that has good audio. So I think my basic requirement now really is to make sure the audio sounds great because I'm currently using the camera audio which is good if it's near and I have a um, audio recorder as well so for the indoor shots that require a voice from another location so if the camera is really far away I have that recorder but I would like to have the option of having a camera that has that mic input so that I can put in like a better mic and you know any time and without having to hold two things together or do any of those fancy complex stuff and everything is on the camera and I, I can just record with high audio quality so that's something that I've been missing and so I've been thinking about it doing some research and hey hi and I've sort of zoomed in on like a Okay, price is also one of my main concerns because I don't want to spend like over a thousand dollars on a basic camera. So my price point is about maybe 800, 800, 900. Uh, so I found one and I think it's the Canon EOS M3. So it seems that it has a mic input and it also has interchangeable lenses and it's a mirrorless DSLR. It's a mirrorless camera. Uh, yeah, so I think I'm gonna give that a shot. Pyjama girl! Pyjama girl! <laughs> so we are heading off to get some breakfast for mom, dad and my bro. So we're heading on down. And today we have a little friend here with us. What's going along with us? Is that Venus? Downstairs now. Check out the ramp. The ramp. Look. Oh. So we are at the market called the 115 Henderson Road Market, and we'd like to just take you uh, along the journey of what's in the wet market. Look at that. We have the fish here. This is like the seafood, the seafood area. See how they sell. Look at the squid. My favorite stuff. Squid. Fish heads. Then we turn a corner. And we go to another section. Oh, seafood as well. More seafood. Oh, this is a giant squid. Isn't it? And these are the dried foods. Hey, walk there, walk there. These are called the preserved vegetable cabbage. The next one. Nothing much here. This is like what? Yong Tao Fu? Yong Tao Fu shop? This is the chicken and duck fresh meat section. And this is an aquarium. Look at this lovely flower. Yeah, what? You rate them. Mommy's dessert. So 
we are now heading to get some dim sum. So trying to look for the dim sum shop. I think it's over there. Oh no, today's uh, dim sum shop is closed. We've arrived at the place that sells the best chicken fun. I hope they have chicken fun. Right. Yeah. Grandma also wants it. You know. Please, please, please. Oh, this is Rebecca's one. Vegetarian yeah. bee hoon. Vegetarian bee hoon? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> no, but they always like to fix the... Yeah. I don't understand why. I like... Can you talk to I eat all vegetables. Uh, uh, fork, fork. Why must? <laughs> okay, we're back and we have a lot of breakfast items even though we... It is those items that we did not plan on getting. So this is duck kway tiao, duck meat kway tiao. And then this one for Rebecca is a vegetarian bee hoon. I think she took some already. Yep, looks like that. And all these pieces are actually all vegetarian and if it looks like meat, it's fake. And look at this, coffee in a packet. Only in Asia. Okay, so here's my duck meat kui tiao. There it is, with extra chili here. This is a duck. This is the extra gizzard. Hi! We're on our way out. To get some stuff. Yeah, I read that. Every, Technology stuff. Every Tech flight stuff. of stairs uh, is 10 calories. Hey, I want to show you how colorful this place is. See? Ooh. Is it nice? Like it? This is Singapore. We're taking on the rubbish truck. We are now ready for some ice cream. I want to use this. I've got to finish it. Ice cream. Which one you want? On chocolate. Okay. Where? Oh. Yeah, oh, actually, I want a combination like the last time. Combination. Yeah, what? Yeah. Huh? What? What the food? The poopy? I got something. I got something. Check out my parents' nice magnet wall. Now it's your responsibility really. You can take over grandma. Right? Okay. But I'm sick, so Ready? I cannot come <laughs> Yeah, see, you must take care of each other. Brother. Walls. Where is yours? You must come up with a name this for sister. Sister? Nobody calls you say sister. Yeah! Hey, like sis, you know, like the sis. Hey guys, I'm back home and I've got something exciting to show you. This is it. So I got the EOS M3 from Canon and I'm really excited to start using this camera because when I tested it in the shop in Challenger, I noticed that the depth of field and the focusing, the autofocus was really good. So I did try it out. I did try the EOS M3 at the store at Challenger 
uh, and I realized that the depth of view is it called depth depth of view yep I guess was really good and then the this camera has a mic input as well as well as the shoe hot shoe I think that's what they call it yep so it would be really easy for me to mount an external microphone as well as you know any kind of ex uh, accessory that I can put up there so that's pretty exciting and then it doesn't really feel as big as the normal point and shoot that I'm using right now which is the Sony HX90V so I'm pretty excited that I can just use it like like what I'm using it now and but still get good audio and good video better better audio and better video right so this camera was a, a very good price point was sold at a very good price point it's below a thousand Singapore dollars uh, with the lens of um, EFM 18 to 55 ISSTM so that's the, the lens that came with the camera there is another one uh, I think it comes with two lenses and that is just a little bit more expensive and above my budget so that's why I got this one and initially I wanted to get the white color uh, EOS M3 but after looking at it and comparing the two I think the black one has a better higher quality finish it is matte and scratch resistant compared to the white one which is glossy and I'm just afraid that it might get dirty and the paint will chip so yeah that's why I got the black one instead so right now I'm just gonna do a very quick unboxing of my new Canon EOS M3 so enjoy all right so this is how the box looks like you have the the model name here and the price so it's uh, originally 899 Singapore dollars and then today they had an offer and they're selling it at 829 with a $200 vouchers that I could collect at the Canon store so I've not collected that and then the contents of the of the box includes the camera the lens the strap the battery charger the battery pack and the interface cable so that's it let's take a look at the side as you can see these are the features of the camera it's a 24.2 megapixel CMOS uh, camera with the hybrid lens oh hybrid CMOS AF3 okay so I don't really know the specifics of all these uh, features but there you go and then yep just the other side of the box and then on the other side okay blah 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 mm hmm okay all right so let's take a look inside all right so this card shows that uh, the Canon office has moved and then the new location is at Fusionopolis, so that's great. It's really near my place. And this is the warranty. And telling you where to register. This is the warranty card. And then this is the um, instruction booklet. And this is the connect station. What is that? Alright, so it's like a separate accessory really cool cool and then let's check what's inside so this is the, the cable charging cable this is the what is that oh yep it's the battery pack and then this is the charger oh I see this is the cable for the charger I'm sorry okay and then what's left are just two simple things the actual camera itself just this just this and then the lens all right i'm just gonna take that out oh this is the interface cable with the usb mini usb 
and this is the strap. Alright, so I've taken out the body from the plastic bag and this is how it looks. So it's not really that big, I don't think, as a body and it's really, it has a good weight to it and it's really sturdy and it has this good grip here. I think that's really good. And let's take a look at the top. You can see that there's two dials here, the on-off switch and then this is where you press for taking a picture and then there's this uh, manual function, let's do it this way manual function activation and you can look at the top there's the hot shoe here you can attach accessories and over here is the flash so I'll just show that to you take a look at the flash and then just do that Oops. That. can you see the flash is activated and you could actually just move this it's pretty flexible this way and then I'll just put it back and then if you take a look at the, the screen it's pretty big it's a pretty big screen decent size and take a look at here there's the record button this is the preview of all your photos and videos and I'm not too sure what these are but then these are pretty standard, they have the menu, they have the info and the ISO settings and set, flash, manual focus and delete so that looks pretty cool over to the side you can see that there's this HDMI port here that you can put it, connect your HDMI cable to check it out, okay and then on the other side Yep, so that's where the mic input is resided. Let's check it out. Alright, that's cool. And, yep. And it comes with Wi-Fi as well. And I think NFC. Yep. And this is where you put the SD card and the battery. Alright, so I've got the battery in there already. Just waiting to put in the SD card to test it out. And this screen, what you could do is really to... You can push it out. Like that. And it tilts. If you look at it from the side. You can move it all the way up. Like so. Oh. <laughs> It's just getting quite challenging with one hand. Yep, so you can move it up like that. Selfie mode, which I really like, but if I have attached something here, then, you know, it gets blocked. But, yep, that's how it is. And then, what you could do here is just not just like that, but you could actually open it here. See? It tilts down like that, so I think that's pretty good as well. Some extra moving parts, moving angles. Alright, so that's the body. I'm just going to fit in this lens here. I think this lens is just pretty basic lens, 18 to 55 millimeter image stabilizer lens. So I'm just going to hook it up. So here are my two cameras side by side. This is my regular vlogging camera. The Sony HX90D. Uh, no, so this is my original my current vlogging camera, the HX90V, is from Sony, and with no interchangeable lenses, it's just a simple point and shoot, but really light and compact. And this is my new guy, which is the Canon EOS M3, with the lens 18 to 55 millimeters. As you can see it's really slick and cool, and it's, it doesn't look that much bigger than the Sony that I have. The only thing that is that this giant lens. Yep. So, and it's, yeah, much heavier. Mm -hmm. So I'm not too sure if this little tripod here, you know, will be able to withstand this new weight, but I guess I'll try until I get... I'll use it until I'm able to get another one. Or... I think I could probably use my small tripod, the one 
that I have, I think, my mini tripod that is not flexible and it's like pretty big. Maybe I'll try that. So this is me showing you how I'm attaching the flexi tripod to it. As you can see, it's really too small and light to accommodate this new big guy. But this is all I have. All I, I think I just got to hold this part and not, you know, to not to hold it too low and it'll be good. All right, cool.